Hello, I'm Dr. Shantala Siddharna from uh, Saga Hospital. I'm a chief gynecologist. Today, I would like to enlighten you all with the topic of cervical cancer. First of all, you should know what is cervix. We have a genital tract in the uterus is the womb or we call it as a womb which carries the baby. The mouth of the uterus or the lower part of the uterus is called cervix. This is most commonly injured or exposed to the injuries during the childbirth, during the sexual intercourse or due to the periods, lot of hormonal changes that is happening to the cells and glands present in the cervix. So what is the incidence of this cervical cancer? Commonly in India, this happens between 35 years to 45 years. So today I will tell you what are the symptoms which you have to go immediately to doctor. Any woman who is in the reproductive age group suffering from lot of excessive vaginal foul smelling discharge, low backache or a pain abdomen, postcoital bleeding or intermenstrual bleeding should immediately approach a doctor because these are the early symptoms where you have to meet a doctor and get an examined. What is the cause for this cervical cancer? From years, many women have a delivery naturally in olden days, they would have had a home deliveries, but still this was not highlighted so much. So now why? So I think our cervix is inside the vagina, it is more commonly injured during the childbirth. It may be a vacuum delivery or an instrumental delivery. There may be cervical tear during the normal vaginal deliveries or there may be unusual growth called as polyps which can go for a cancerous changes. Due to the hormonal variations, the cells keep changing and they undergo metaplastic changes because of the hormonal changes during the periods. Also during the intercourse, the seminal fluid which contains the prostaglandins causes very common injuries to the or insult to the cervical cells. These cells are very sensitive and they can undergo lot of dysplastic or metaplastic changes. What are the other predisposing factors? Here, lot of factors are also responsible like low socioeconomic status, low immunity, low nutritional status, early teenage marriage, teenage sexual exposure or early child bearing and also multiple sexual partners or a promis promiscuous partners, even the males can carry these human papilloma virus. So, Mainly the causative factor is the human papilloma virus. This is transmitted when the skin to skin contact happens in the genital area during the oral sex, vaginal sex and anal sex. So these infections can be detected and prevented and treated. In our society many believe that the girls who are not married should not undergo a vaginal examination. But if the girls are true to their conscience and if they are having a multiple sexual partners or if they are sexually exposed, they should themselves go and get a pap smear done without any fear so that we can do prevent this condition. Now in our society, all, we are also having or promoting a vaccine which can prevent the deaths from cervical cancer or we can prevent this disease itself by using Gardasil vaccine. Gardasil vaccines can be given to the chi girl child from the age of 9 years up to 49 years. Gardasil vaccines can also be given to the males who are the transmitters of this human papilloma virus because in our society 80% of the males are infected by oropharyngeal cancer. So I feel this Gardasil vaccine is a very important vaccine for everybody. I recommend to all the mothers to take their daughters or the young adults and get this vaccine. And this Gardasil vaccine is very much available in our hospital and this vaccine must be taken under supervision. It is not available on the counter. This is quite expensive. You have to come to the hospital under the supervision of the doctors. You have to take this vaccines. Thank you.